Hello Collective, welcome to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. I appreciate your support. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow, share, do whatever your spirit is guiding you to do. If you are just being guided to watch, that is absolutely fine. Thank you also. So let's go ahead and see what in the name of source is going on here. Someone has gone broke because of actions they took against another individual or this could be a group of people that are experiencing some type of financial like or financial ending but i'm seeing one character so i'm going to stick with that there is someone here that is that is experiencing some type of financial setback they are having a pinch pennies and things like that and this is because this person was going to uh priestesses to pay for dark work to pay for spell work to be done against someone there is a masculine energy that is absolutely determined to block someone from getting into a love connection and this is supposed to be like a soul twin connection the reason it is in the reverse is because this masculine is determined to not allow it to happen he thinks he has the power to block your love life okay this is not someone that is in love with you this is just someone that has some type of unhealthy obsession and some just some type of possessive energy about you like they want to have control over you they view you as a property as an inanimate object as like food for them for food like you know how dark workers feed off of light workers they view you as their source of energy basically so this person has been taking a lot of actions behind the scenes to cause you endings they want you living in fear and things like that but things are not going according to plan this is someone that is extremely experienced in what it is they're doing not to say that they're good at it but but they've been doing it for so long that they are used to having the upper hand somehow that is not how this situation is going this person has lost control they could have done this in the past and things did not go according to plan it may have upset this person and pissed them off and things like that so they are trying again this person is going to keep trying and trying and trying because this is how dark workers mind work they think that the more they do, they do something the better chances they have of uh achieving their goal but that's not how it goes someone here is a gambler someone is in a lot of debt so they're having to pinch pennies and living from paycheck to paycheck and things like that and i'm not saying that in a derogatory manner i'm not a uh, 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 oprah winfrey over here um, but i'm saying that this person is in the predicament they are in because of choices they made to pay for things that they did not need to pay for like paying for spell work to be done on people like why would you take money out of your bank account to do something like that i'm trying to find the logic in there like i'm trying to imagine myself getting out of my home getting in my car going to the bank and asking for maybe a hundred dollars or something to go pay someone to send dark energy to someone else make it make sense it's not happening so i'm just going to leave it at that someone knows because they've been going to these high priestesses to get reading on you someone knows that there is an individual that wants to come and give you a genuine love offer this person does not want you receiving this genuine love offers this person is set on having you living in a state of like and they don't want you feeling loved they don't want you feeling appreciated they don't want you feeling pretty beautiful or anything positive about yourself this person wants you living in a deplorable state because this is the state of mind this person is in someone was broken and damaged at a very young age and they have kept this mindset with them unfortunately throughout their entire life and are not willing to do the necessary work in order to heal so most of their life they've spent breaking people down and destroying lives somehow they were not able to destroy yours yours and this is because you are someone that is spiritually guided divinely guided by the cosmos this is not your portion to be destroyed by something someone or something karmic right you're going to live a long and beautiful prosperous and abundant life so whatever this person is planning for you is not meant to come into fruition right so they don't want you in this love connection they don't want someone giving you an offer because they know this offer is going to put you in a beautiful energy we also have this uh ace of pentacles out here in the reverse because this person is running out of money to pay priestesses to do work on you and this is because they are kind of fly out broke someone is really just able to feed themselves they don't have the money 
to feed them to, to pay for like uh, uh, uh recreational activities lux uh, uh I'm, I'm trying to find the word to use but it's not coming but right now someone just has money to pay for food their basic necessities and this is because they have wasted all of their finances trying to get someone that can do a powerful spell to take you down someone was using you as a sacrifice they made promises to people possibly to use you as a sacrifice and they thought they were going to get wealthy off of this promise or this oath that they took and now things did not go according to plan and they are in debt someone may be in debt with the devil so or they may be in may be in debt with with some gangsters and things like that and you know gangsters how they are about their money like you got to pay you're gonna pay one way or another so good luck to you whoever you are um there is a high priestess that is throwing some type of fit because someone is still putting in the energy to come towards you so someone could have gone to a high priestess or someone uh, 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 a high priestess is throwing a fit because they came yeah that's what it is there is a high priestess that is upset because you are still working you're still moving on with your life you're still sealing on the karma waters this high priestess has some type of personal vendetta against you she has been able to send work towards other energies in the past and destroy them but she has not been able to destroy you so this woman is taking this personal oh my goodness thank you for that clarification spirit i was like what in the world this high priestess and then the four of cups what's going on that makes sense this is the woman this masculine has been going to for a long time to do work on you and you some of you could have been in relationship with these masculines and this could be a feminine as well as we know energy is fluid in tarot but this person has been going to this high priestess for a long time to pay for spell work to be done on you you may have not just known about it but the truth is being revealed to you now but this high priestess is throwing a fit. She's upset. She's angry. She's throwing some type of karmic fit because she has not been able to take you down, to destroy you, to block your work. That she's taking it personal, basically, right? It's that you are in a battle with someone that you don't even know you're in a battle with. This is a spiritual battle to her. Her agenda is to destroy you, to overcome you, but it's not going to happen. So this high priestess is just going to stay pissed off maybe for the rest of her life. But do we care? Not really. She's upset that you are still working. So the thing is that they've been throwing energy at you so that you can stop what it is you're doing. So you may be doing something that you hold dear to your heart. Something that's meant to uplift the world, make a change in the world. You know, uh, elevate people's energies and vibration because this is how Mother Earth gets to heal by people uplifting their energy, raising their vibration and things of that nature. Um, so this person is upset that you are still working. It's like no matter what they're doing, no matter what spell work they're sending towards you, you are waking up every day and staying committed to your craft because this is who you are. You're showing up here as a queen of pentacles. And that is what the queen of pentacles is. Someone that is extremely dedicated to their craft. They don't care what's going on around them as long as they make sure that they perfect and are committed to their career, their finances, things are good for them. So this is what your focus is on right now is getting to a stable place making sure your career is where it needs to be or is headed in the right direction and this woman is pissed off up about that she knows that your work is going to help you move on to a better energy a better life you see we have the seven of pentacles out here so all of your hard work is going to pay off in the end do not give up on what it is you're doing for some of you there could be people behind the scenes that are doing things to block you this is something i'm currently going through myself but it's quite okay i already know what source has for me up ahead so all of this is entertainment for me anyways so there could be people behind the scenes trying to block your forward movement they don't want you being successful they're trying to block your finances block your love life block your happiness just block everything they possibly can for you and this is because these are people that are unhealed people in balance and things like that because you have to think of it the very notion of you taking time out of your life out of your 
day to block someone else's forward movement that should tell you where you are mentally and emotionally and where you are in the when it comes to the spectrum of spirituality um and where you really need to be headed instead of where you are right so i wouldn't pay these people any mind there's really nothing they can do because you're someone that's guided and protected by the universe but this high priestess is taking things extremely personal these people have have thrown everything they can at you there are no more tricks left in the bag so they're just going to keep doing the same thing over and over again um and this a lot of these people have legal uh, problems coming in and they don't realize it a lot of us readers have been picking up on these energies and we keep warning these karmics that there are legal issues coming your way but they are not listening they're still going because this is how the brains of these karmics work they think that they can do whatever it is that they want some of them are well connected some of them have money but none of that no money no connection is going to be able to save you from what's up ahead because of the energies that you all are coming up against right so you're showing up here as the page of cups as well this is saying that you are someone extremely lively eccentric you live within your truth something is being uh, re-examined something is being looked over right so there were things that this masculine could have said about you that people are going over again because now it's not making sense this person is extremely determined behind the scenes to take you down and people are now starting to wonder like why are you so set on taking this person down this person is not doing anything to you like they've moved on with your life they're not calling you not texting you but this person this is that one of those people that could be pretending that you are the one texting them so if you have maybe like an old phone or something they may keep that phone active and pretend like you're the one texting them this is someone that may even lie and say that you two got married but you never got married um this is someone very vindictive this is someone that is in a desperate energy and they're going to do some desperate things trying to force themselves into your energy, but they are blocked. The universe is blocking this person out of your energy because it's just not happening. It's not a good thing. Something is up with this person. Um, they are not healed. They may want to come in and act like they are now balanced and things like that and want to offer you a genuine love offer. It is not genuine. This is something that's meant to trap you and end up leading to you being a sacrifice for this person or a food bank for this person and the karmics that he or she has surrounded themselves with, right? So just be um in the know about that. If someone from your past that you left or left you wants to come back do not do it i never advise people to go back to their exes always be forward moving in life no matter how hard it is something something i learned how to do and i am so grateful that i did this is that the last relationship i was in it was a six years chaotic experience we both had our ways about us uh you know I'm not going to blame everything on the other person because I have my ways about me too. But when I realized that things were not going to be lasting with us, I started mourning that person while I was with them. Um, and it took me maybe six months to do that. Um, and once I was done mourn mourning that person, it was like there's nothing that person could do to me that could now destroy me or hurt me. I knew now that when I was leaving or when I intended to leave the relationship, when I left, I would have no reason to come back. So sometimes those are things, little things that you can do to help yourself heal, right? Mourn the person while you are with them because you've already seen them for who they are and you already know the future is bleak with them. So mourn them while you are with them so that when you leave, there's no reason to call them, text them, email them, whatever, right? You don't have to pretend anything you have healed along the way and sometimes this confuses these types of people as well these narcissists where they are still stuck in the mindset that you are in love with them you are obsessed with them when you aren't even thinking about this person you've moved on with your life um so yeah and then that means that you two are on like two different side of the tracks where they think you are obsessed with them and you're not even giving a crap you don't care what happened to them you don't wish them any ill will but you're not thinking about them either right anyways let's get back to this you're showing up as the page of cups things are being re-examined people are seeing you for who you are the truth about you you're showing up as a queen of cups as well someone that was done wrong in the past there was something stolen from you some type of opportunity 
an offer from a king of swords this person may have wanted to work with you as well but there was also a queen of cups in here besides you that did some trickery to receive this opportunity or wanting to receive this opportunity from this masculine this could have been like some type of business opportunity finance opportunity some type of financial payout financial offering this masculine could be someone that spends money on the women that he's with and maybe this empress i mean this uh, um this queen of cups is someone that likes to be splurged on um regardless of the situation so she took advantage of that and may have misrepresented you to this masculine and maybe he was not mentally strong enough to see things for what they were so he went ahead and got with her but she's being seen for who she is now this is a thief this is someone that may be planning something malicious as well against someone it's like this is someone trying to steal something from you for a lot of you this is someone trying to steal a new beginning from you. You could be someone that's create cre very creative. You are very uh, you are a very powerful manifester and you are creating something that's going to lead to abundance for you. And this woman may be trying to steal this from you from behind the scenes. Um, or this is what's coming up. But rest assured, you are saved. Nothing is going to happen. Stay calm. Do not react. Just ignore and keep on going on about your days. Feeling a uh, a uh, uh, sharing negative sharing positivity into the world oh lord people are trying to mix up my words i would never advocate for negativity to be spread into the world maybe this is what this person is doing that's why that's coming out because people like this that are willing to steal and take from other people that's all they're really giving to the rest of the world is negativity right so this is someone that is planning some type of thievery um, to steal someone new, someone's uh, new beginning, someone's opportunity. They don't want this king of uh, swords investing in you and things like that because they feel entitled to that opportunity. They think they're a better fit, but that's not the case. Someone wanted you living in fear and things like that. There's a king of swords in here that is uh, distancing himself from these group, this group of people or this king, this queen of cups. Oh my goodness, my words cannot come out today, but we will be okay. This King of Swords is distancing himself from this Queen of Cups because he's seen her for exactly who she is. Something has been illuminated to him about this woman that she's a pretender. He was with the representative. For some of you, this masculine could have had explicit relationships with this woman. Um, but now he's finding out that she is maybe like a pretender, a, a, a Jesse Bell, a thief. She was just with him for money. So a gold digger, basically. Um, this is why she was with him, just for financial purposes and did not love him. For some of you, this masculine that wants to come back towards you and paint this illusion, this is what he went through. So he may have left you for maybe someone he thought that was better than you, only to find out that this person was only with them, with him for finances uh, and was just taking advantage of him. Now he wants to leave this person, distance himself from her or him um, and try to come back towards you, but that's not happening. The universe does not want this. This is not being encouraged. I'm not going to beat around the bush with you. If someone, if someone will go through all of that trouble to cause you endings, to keep you stagnant and steal from you, to give to someone else, whatever it is they were doing, do not get back with them. That is speaking that you are not healed yet. If you do things like that, you are telling the universe that you are not re ready for something better to come into your life. So move on, okay? Your path is being uh, uh, illuminated to you. The universe wants you to know that you are on the right path. You are being protected. Uh, you have abundance ahead of you because this is something you've worked extremely hard for, especially when it comes to spiritual work, emotional and mental work. If you do not believe that, please reflect a little bit over your life and see where you are today compared to where you were to, uh, yesterday. Um, and you will see the difference, right? There's, there should be a drastic difference between the person you are today and the person you were uh, a day ago, a month ago, a year ago, multiple years ago. Um, you have done a lot of improvement and you should pat yourself on the back for that, okay? So your path is being clear. You are headed into your abundance and this is something you are going to absolutely appreciate. You're showing up here as the queen of pentacles, which means you're someone hardworking. You don't go out looking for handouts from people. You prefer to work for your money because you like to earn what it is you have because to you, that as 
value to what it is you have, right? And this is my mindset as well. I don't like too much free stuff. I prefer to work for the things that I want in life, even money and things like that. I don't like too much free because it's a, um, what do you want from me? what do you want from me and i don't want to sound egotistical like i know how i look and things like that so if a man comes up to me and he's giving me money sir sir what do you want from me okay because i don't have any sugar to give you for money i don't do that kind of stuff so yes um so you're showing up in here honey i had a little moment there you're showing up here as the queen of pentacles which means you're someone family oriented Easy to talk to, down to earth, very committed to your to the to the passions of your life. You are like the ideal woman for a man, right? Um, you balance men out when you date them. You are easy for them to talk to when they're having problems. You're not going to judge them. You're more so of like the logical person in the relationship. So if they're having difficulties with different situations, you are able to kind of help them see what they need to do, which path to take. You're able to help them see things from a higher perspective. Um, you're coming into abundance. There is a financial payout that is supposed to be coming out to you. You may have some type of inheritance, some type of payout from the courts, an institution. Someone may be wanting to gift you some money for some of you. It's a, it's a whole lot of different situations going on here. But you are stepping into abundance and this is going to allow you to live a little bit more easier. You may be working really hard right now to make money. It's like you're putting in more hours than you're receiving money, but things are about to flip for you where you'll be putting in less hours but making more money right uh, you are also showing up as the queen of wands in here just meaning that you are passionate in like you have a brand new passion about life you have a brand new beginning in life and things like that the death card does not just always have to do with endings this is just saying that you have a new beginning a fresh start right regeneration and things like that and it is quite beautiful to have the queen of wands and the death card next to each other followed by the wheel of fortune this is just a uh, um uh, uh, Again, uh, um, solidifying and legitimizing the fact that you are moving forward, you are elevating. Things are moving forward for you, right? The wheel of karma is moving in the, up in the forward movement for you. So you can expect abundance up ahead. There is a queen of pentacles in this scenario that is experiencing some type of betrayal. And this is because this was someone that was up against you. This is someone that did a lot of betrayal, carry out a lot of malicious actions against you that you may not be aware of. But this person is experiencing the exact things that they did to you or intended for you that is why we have this ten of swords out here okay so this this is not so much what you did this is action also that people took against you someone may be planning to take some type of action against you as well stay calm do not fret do not be worried you're going to be a-okay you are protected people are going to keep trying you as long as you are a light worker you are a star c you are a child of the divine out here doing positive things people are always going to come after you so let them plan all they want um, but you will be okay someone is also recovering from some type of betrayal that they experienced at the hand of a at the hands of a queen of wands um this is someone that thought they were in a a collaboration a union a partnership with someone genuine but it turns out that this woman is nothing but an empty vessel walking about the face of earth this is something she does the people is take advantage of them this could have been someone that was paid to date this masculine to come into this masculine's life and paint a picture that just was not genuine she may have given him something um you know what i mean like when you lay with people she may have given him something and he's recovering from that or she may have done something a little bit more severe that he's having to recover from. But this firm, but this masculine is planning on how to move forward. This is someone that had maybe like a close, a near death experience. Um, and they are now making changes in their lives. It could also be that the person that they were with was extremely toxic and they are going through the process of healing their mental as well, becoming more stable, finding higher and meaningful things in life, seeing things from a higher perspective, um, just applying a little bit more logic into their life when it comes to the types of people they're dating, who they're giving finances to, who they're splurging on 
things like that. Uh, this masculine, if there's a masculine in here that is interested in you, uh, and this is someone that is extremely passionate about you and admires you a lot, this person sees you as their ideal person. Um, the word empress came out of my mouth earlier, so you could very well be an empress energy. Um, and so you are someone that is extremely uh, essential and beneficial to have around because you have a healing energy about you. You nurtured people, which is something, an energy that a lot of us need in this world so that the earth can start to ascend and heal because our planet is filled with a lot of negative energy. This is why her, her vibration is out of balance, is out of sync. It's because of the negativity that we spill out into her every day. So that is your read. I'll see you in, the, in my next one. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.